Call me coach, he said. We're here to support you. We want to see business get back to normal as quickly as possible. Day 50. Every once in a while, there is some good news during this last 50 days. Possibly more if you want to count it back when the WHO said that China say, stated that COVID-19 isn't transmitted human to human. But let's not go there right now. Before that, there was the gun rights thing for the Governor Blackface of Virginia decided to uh, uh, sign the gun laws into effect during the pandemic. A total dick move, but he's a dick anyway, so what are you going to do? Now, during that time in Virginia, numerous sheriff departments said, we're not, gonna, we're not going to, now they say that, we're not going to enforce these laws that violate the Second Amendment. And by the way, they do. Going to here to Arizona, these Arizona sheriffs say they won't enforce governor's stay-at-home order, but they but they don't expect a free for all. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Two Arizona sh- county sheriffs, one on the western edge of the state, and, the, and then one and another just south of Phoenix, say they won't enforce the stay-at-home order proposed by or imposed imposed and proposed kind of different by governor doug ducey in part because they think it is unconstitutional and it is now you could argue that well you know in times of crisis the the constitution can be molded and bended and heated up and sort of kind of molded to what we really want but in fact if you're really a strict constitutionalist this is completely unconstitutional the sheriffs, Doug Schuster of Mojave County, oh good, I have land up there, mint, tucked along the Colorado River and Mark Lamb of Penal County made their comments separately, but Schuster said in his Friday phone interview that he had spoken with Lamb about their mutual feelings regarding the governor's order. Both said they speak to residents violating the order, but neither would arrest anyone for not obeying. Good. Because if you're going to release criminals... From the jail because of COVID-19 concerns, then you can't arrest people for violating some sort of dubious imposition of some sort of stay-at-home order. You can't do that. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Still, Schuster didn't expect a free-for-all in his county, which includes tourist-laden Lake Havasu City. That's true. You can't expect that you know, oh, we're not going to arrest you. People are just going to go storm out of the house and start doing a Congo line down the middle of Main Street. Not going to happen. We'll get compliance, Schuster said. These businesses are not looking to butt heads with law enforcement of this or the state. They should, because you can't arrest all of us there, Sheriff Schuster. In an email statement, the governor's office said that any violation of the order would risk penalties previously outlined. The statement said once the office had been communicating with law enforcement agencies and expected continued cooperation. Lamb said it had already been the unstated policy of the Peniel County Sheriff's Office to not arrest anyone for violating the order. The preference, he said, was to talk to the people about compliance, not jail them. That's good. De-escalation, which most cops don't apply themselves to. But television station in Phoenix asked Lamb to address Ducey's comments as he announced the extension of his stay-at-home order. Ducey, in response to a question about bars and restaurants that might reopen in defiance of his order, mentioned a jail term, a fine, and possible loss of a liquor license. What a dick. He better not, if he's a Republican, he should be freaking ashamed of himself. Asked about the KSAZ TV Channel 10 on Thursday, Lamb told the station he didn't wish to arrest anyone. That's good. But he might, though, because these, these jackbooted thugs sometimes sort of don't do what they should. Lamb said in an interview with the Republic on Friday that he felt that he had no choice but to make his unstated policy a stated one. I think people want to know what we're going to support their constitutional rights. I felt Ducey pushed me into a position where I needed to make our stance clear. Thanks. Lamb said he thought 
The governor had no right to deprive people of their livelihood or pursuit of happiness. Thank you. He said he would welcome joining a legal challenge to Ducey's orders. Lamb said he also thought, a policy, as a policy measure, the steps to slow the virus spread had gone on long enough. The numbers just don't justify the actions anymore, he said. 300 deaths is not a significant enough number to continue to ruin the economy. Wow, he sounds, um, oh, I don't know, um, pragmatic. <laughs> As of Friday, the state health department had reported 330 deaths caused by COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus. God damn it. The COVID-19 is a novel goddamn coronavirus. Holy crap, AZ Central, get your shit together. Lamb said that he called a few sheriffs Thursday to let him know that he was about to stay on television so they would brace himself with similar questions. That's why he spoke with Schuster who expressed similar reservations about enforcing the order. Social distance in Mojave County. Schuster first expressed his thoughts about Ducey's executive order on Thursday after on a Thursday morning meeting, afternoon meeting, and Mojave County Board of Supervisors. He also posted them on his Facebook page on Friday. The words made waves, especially the part about Schuster not wanting his agency to be the social distancing police. Okay. Schuster said he was on the phone with reporters much of Friday afternoon, taking him away from his plan to spend the afternoon with pulling weeds. Okay. Gardening. Well, you're the sheriff. The reporters want to talk to you because you said some stuff. You got to talk there, buddy. But Schuster said he didn't intend to defy the governor or speak publicly. But you are defying the governor, kind of. See how they word that correctly? They said, we don't intend to arrest anyone. They don't intend to. But if they get forced to, they will. That's how they get around it by, we're not defying the governor's orders. We just don't intend to arrest anybody. Mm. Maybe my first impression of this uh, this. Uh, Article here was unfounded. Schuster's words came after he dealt with an issue in his county that involved a Lake Havasu restaurant that wanted to have a taco party in its parking lot. Hell yeah, let's have a taco party. The owner of Blonzi's Steakhouse, which he published to support any way possible, a sprawling restaurant adorned with two large cattle heads in the desert just north of Lake Havasu City, had planned a tailgate party of sorts in the parking lot on late April evening. Melissa Lucas, the owner in a letter, was published Thursday in today's news. Herald of Lake Havasu City said that he thought that the Taco Cruise Day promotion comported with the law. There are little groups of small families eating tacos and didn't mingle with others, she wrote. Good for you, Melissa. Good for you. And if I remember Lake Havasu City, you, you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to come by <laughs> She got crosswise with the county health inspector, she wrote, who summoned a deputy. She said there was talk of her arrest and she was told no tacos could be eaten in her parking lot. I closed my business over this, Lucas wrote, saying the closure was temporary. This whole situation is a disaster and it was very devastating to me. That's bull crap. So you can order pizza, you can order food from restaurants, have it delivered to your house, but you can't be in a parking lot where the tacos are served? What fresh hell are you talking about, health inspector? You can sit on this and spin. Garbage people. Ugh. That situation, Schuster said, got out of control. He said he found it unfortunate that the owner of the restaurant felt she needed to close her doors as a result of the office's response to the call. So next time, Melissa, call Schuster up. And say, hey, I'm doing another taco party. I hope some deputy doesn't come out here with some overbearing health inspector being a complete douchebag and close my business down. Let's just hope next time, Melissa, that Sheriff Schuster will do that according to his own words. I don't care where anybody eats their food, Schuster said. Thank you. Schuster said on Friday that he still had the power of the badge. If called to a business deemed to be violating the order, he would encourage them to maintain the new public health standards. 
Call me coach, he said. We're here to support you. We want to see business get back to normal as quickly as possible. You see, I think what he's saying here is I, I preface this, okay? I'm not even going to preface this. Screw that. I think he's saying that there's a middle ground we need to meet to from closing everything down, everyone in the house, Chinese style, welded in your house to completely open to what Schuster's saying. Let's be smart about this. So social distance, wear masks, because we can still go to the grocery stores. That's okay. But you have a Taco Tuesday in a parking lot, and that's not okay when people are doing, you know, pretty much a drive through No, 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 that's not okay. And I can't believe they play taxes to that freaking county. <laughs> Schuster said he'd be asking business owners to do their part to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus as a, quote, favor, unquote, to him as sheriff. You know, this guy actually seems reasonable. Yeah, he basically is dancing around the words. He doesn't intend to arrest anybody. He wants to be coach. But I understand where he's coming from here. He's actually doing, <laughs> albeit, what we all should be doing in the United States. Sensible social distancing, opening the economy back up, because the, the later we open the economy back up, the worse it's going to be. It's already bad now. But you keep waiting 30 more days, 60 days, 90 days. It's going to be way worse. But he said he was not interested in filling up his jail with restaurant owners who, say, served burgers too dense a crowd of people. My conscience will not allow me to arrest someone who is trying to make a living. He said, I don't believe it is a crime to try to make a living. I, I can't. Now, I don't know his politics, okay? But he's, this guy's either a moderate, a Republican, or a conservative, or even a libertarian. He knows that there are, are laws that you have to obey, even your boss, the governor, states that you got to do but he's saying that look I'm a sheriff whatever I see I could try to I don't want to fill my jails up with people you're just trying to make a living open up their businesses we don't need governors of other of either political of each side of the political spectrum dictating what you can and can't do during this pandemic because I think I've talked about this earlier this pandemic this coronavirus COVID-19 this is not coming to an end when when they open the businesses back up completely you really think this virus will just disappear no it's not this is going to be another thing much like the influenza that you got to get a shot for every every year. Every, from now on, for the rest of our lives, you're going to get a shot not only for influenza, but COVID-19 and its offshoots. And it's many different offshoots. That's what's going to happen. But people don't, I think, seem to realize that this is going to be around for a long, long time. It's not going to be like polio where it just sort of disappears. You just got to get it. Oh, I got the HIV. <laughs> get a shot and it goes away no this is going to be with us for the rest of our lives so the minute we actually i dare i say get back to normal whatever that is this is what's going to happen and i applaud these two sheriffs of mojave county and pinnell county to not arrest people for trying to make a freaking living, for God's sakes. How hard is that? I'm going to leave it there. That's day 50 in a nutshell. And I'm going to see you on day 51. And from what I understand, I've got another 30 days of this where I'm at here in the uh, South America. So, whoo, here we go. Day 51 coming tomorrow. I'll see you then. <laughs>